with the way I hurt, yeah. So I basically, I need to do a lot of things. And by a lot of things, I mean not many. I'm just overwhelmed because that's who I am as a person. I need to plan out my tattoos because I like tattoo artists, but I don't know what tattoos I want ever. So when they become available, that's when I figure out what I want. So I need to figure out what I want. I need to start a commission, which is really fun. And then I actually need to purchase some things off of Ulta. And I'm bringing you along for that moment specifically because I have trouble spending money, even if it's on things that, well, I guess I don't need it, but I kind of need it. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna work through these things together because like laying out the tattoos is hard. They're gonna be on your, your body forever, but every tattoo I've ever gotten, I was like, okay, within one week, thought of it, got it, boom. And I have no regrets. Starting the commission, I'm a little worried about because it's kind of out of my comfort zone, but I'm excited. And the Ulta thing, I already explained the Ulta thing to you. Please, I need your help. Can you, can you please peer pressure me into doing things that adults do? Thank you. We're doing the tattoos first. First, we start by putting on a podcast that will eventually distract us from doing anything actually productive, but it's entertaining and we're having a good time. It's not how it looks. Nanda. Narigata. So don't look at my background. So I don't necessarily use Pinterest to just like hop on Pinterest, find a design I like, and then rip it off. I kind of use it as like inspiration, like Levi here, because I think it'd be really cool to have a Levi tattoo one day. I have Oni stuff, just like ideas and concepts that I really fuck with or styles that I really fuck with. And I like to be reminded of that. So I'll come here and be like, oh yeah, I do want a snake tattoo. What am I thinking for like the placement? What am I thinking for like the design? Yeah, that's what I use Pinterest for. So I'll like come here and get some vague ideas of what I want. And then I have a list of tattoo ideas on my phone that I'll sometimes refer back to. So it's like a whole a whole process. So when the time does come, I'm like ready. Like I have an artillery ready. I got my Pinterest board ready. I got my list ready and I'm good to go when they're available. I should probably put more planning into stuff like this, but I really don't. I really don't because uh, we are all gonna die. Time isn't real, so we are already dead. And I want my body to be covered in art. Okay, so I printed out the idea of it because I don't know if I'm super into the placement that I'm thinking. So I just wanted to like test it out. She might not even accept this specific tattoo because she always does like original pieces. So I'm not sure how she feels about stuff like this. This is what I'm thinking. Do they have to touch for it to be impactful? What do we think? Thoughts? Onions? I'm kind of into it. Little update, tattoo artist put in her FAQ that she prioritizes return clients. But this time around, I guess she had too many return clients and said that if you're a return client, she's just not gonna accept your work. It's fine. It's fine. My favorite Ohio tattoo artist, not gonna be in Ohio anymore, but it's fine. It's her prerogative. But also don't put that in your fact, in your FAQ, if, if you're not gonna abide by, by it. Oh, I'm so sad, but it's fine. I'm just finding a different tattoo artist. Um, yeah. I was genuinely upset, but now I'm thinking about it and I'm actually very happy for her. Like, good for her. I do need a new artist though, cause I actually really need to get tattooed. I just went through a breakup the fact that no one is available right now, even though I just went through a breakup, kind of fucked. Need ink in my skin right now. Thank you. You want to see some cursed shit that I do? So this is petroleum jelly that I put in this jar. And sometimes if I don't want to like get it on my finger, I'll just... <laughs> I just got it on my nose. Because with your finger, you get too much or too little. But when you go like this, you get perfect amount. Big brain moves only. Thoughts, big brain. Juicy, juicy uh, prefrontal -front cortex. I don't know what I'm saying. Goodbye. To have no thoughts feels good. <gasps> Look how pretty this looks.
Hello, it is a different day. I want to tell you what about a. Uh, uh, uh. I want to tell you about an experience I had. A white man said that my eyes were adorable because it looked like I was always squinting. And they wonder why we don't want to date them. White men need to be sent to prison. <laughs> Cheers. So today is a new day. My mission today is to start working on a commission. I've been <laughs> kind of like practicing in prep for it, which has been fun, but it's time to actually like get down and dirty with it you know so like the basis of this is actually oh my god i just fucking <laughs> i just use my sketchbook to prop up my camera when i need my sketchbook like right now i'm very dumb all right so i've been practicing for this commission because i'm a little nervous i get nervous when i have tattoo commissions because you know that's gonna be on your body forever and that is Spooky to me. I want to be a tattoo artist eventually, so I guess this is good. Like a good little exercise, mental, like a mental exercise. Like, like I, like I, I need to mentally get over this because if I become a tattoo, it, then I'll be putting things on people's bodies permanently forever. So yeah, that's why I've been drawing like kind of obscure things, like this page from my last video, just like obscure. But like somehow I always end up kind of leaning towards cuteness. Like I'm trying to do spooky scary things and it ends up being kind of cute. Here's an unfinished page that I was trying to do where it was strictly spooky. Obviously no references or anything, but... And yeah. Girl's been practicing, trying her best. Now I think I just need to full send. We're using my iPad today. Got some notes that I need to consolidate, so let's go. So I spent a lot of time ideating and I came up with a bunch of different sketches. I had a lot of fun making these sketches and the first one on the left was actually stressing me out because I did not enjoy it that much but as I kept going I feel like I was really getting a grip on this piece. We landed on this being the foundation and it transforms a lot from this point. This commission was a lot of fun because it was like a lot of back and forth with the client. I would give something and then he would give a little bit of feedback and the piece would completely change from that point. And it was really cool to see how it would transition. And this is how the final piece turned out. I'm so proud of it. I'm so happy he liked it and dude, I don't know. I'm just like really proud of myself for this commission. I'm gonna absolutely lose my mind when I actually see it tattooed. Oh my God, I'm so excited. What's up, bitches? <laughs> I suck a lot. I'm really bad at this. All right. So basically, <sighs> I'm insecure about my skills as an artist. Yay! Every time I do a commission, I essentially am like, I send over sketches and I'm like, um, if you hate it, I'm sorry. I'm doing my best, ah. but if you do hate it, please tell me. But then every time, it's like, oh my god, like this one, like we're going in the right direction, like we're so close, or I love it, and this is amazing, you know? And it's like, people are coming to me for my art, obviously, they're probably going to like the outcome just like a little bit, so why am I so insecure? I don't know. Oh, also, I got my Ulta order. The sun is not touching me when I moved to fucking California, dude, that shit's not touching me. I got body facial sunscreen as a moisturizer. I have a face spray sunscreen for when I need to reapply. And then I got eye cream, which isn't as fun, but. I am not being touched by the sun. You cannot touch me, bitch. And then I got an eyeliner, which is really good. This is the eyeliner I got. Can it even focus? Are you focusing? It's good, right? I don't know, I had good reviews. And then I got my eyebrow shadow and this mixing medium, which I have not tried yet. I have to do something funky for this though. I've been doing some like fuck shit with makeup though and it's been really fun, like. Look, there's fucking flames on my eyes. Are you kidding me? Fucking sick, dude. <laughs> it was late at night, so I didn't have good lighting to properly capture the gloriousness of it, but I had flames on my eyes. So fun. Oh yeah, they sent me this fucking... So they sent me this Kylie Jenner lip kit for free, and I think it's dog water. <laughs> All right, that's the lip liner. I really have no idea what the lip liner is supposed to even do, but I put it on, and then here's the color. The color is fine. 
You would think with how like fucking fat Kylie Jenner's lips are, her applicators would be bigger. This shit's small. It's fine. Like the color is nice. But after wearing it for a while, it looks like actual asshole. Like your lips convert into an actual asshole. And I don't know if that's my vibe. Is this my vibe? I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a try though, cause it was free. Free lipstick. And then I got this. Wow. Amazing. This is not fun for you. This is my life, all right? This is who I am. You have to accept it. I want to fucking tell you guys to stop wasting your money. Stop wasting your money on eyebrow gel because hair gel is better, cheaper. Brow gel doesn't do shit. I've used $25 brow gel. I've used fucking $5 brow gel. I've used $1 brow gel. I've used every brow gel under the sun and they all are dog shit. Hair gel is the way to go. Look at that. Hair gel, bitch. Thank you, drag queens. Or I wouldn't be here today. It looks so good. So then I primed my eyes and then set it with a setting powder and I set my eyebrows with the setting powder too. I'm currently having a crisis because I noticed that my teeth are getting stained because I floss like every night. Like I'm obsessed with flossing and I'm obsessed with my teeth being clean. I'm getting stains and it's because of my coffee. I have to use a straw now. Ah, does it taste the same when you drink with a straw? Why does it taste different when you drink with a straw? Ew! Unacceptable! The teeth staining might be worth it. Okay, scientifically what is happening there? Any coffee nerds able to explain that? That's very upsetting. Yes? What are we feeling for- what- Hey, hey, I have a question. <laughs> what are we feeling for my eyes today? Thank you for your feedback. Red. Also, I'm wearing this, it's a new day and I'm wearing the exact same thing that I wore yesterday, except now it's covered in cat hair. And I'm doing this because um, I'm an adult and I can do whatever the fuck I want. And also I don't smell bad, you nasty bitches. I don't smell bad, so I'm just wearing it again. <laughs> do you guys like people who are like a little bit ugly? You know, like if someone is like a little bit ugly, then they're like more attractive in my eyes because they like, they look different. Does that make sense? Holy shit. Because like people who are beautiful within societal standards, like yeah, they are beautiful, but everyone looks like that. So when you see someone who's like a little bit ugly, a confident little bit ugly, you see someone who's a little bit ugly and confident and you're like, what is this flavor? <laughs> you know, like a little bit of flavor. These are not even. Oh, fuck. I need to put my eyeliner on. All right, I'm not doing that on camera. I uh, blacked out and started doing other parts of my makeup. <laughs> I like putting um, blush. Well, this is like a bronzier type of thing. Like right here. I don't know, I think it's cute. And then bring it forward. Like it's like blush, highlight, and bronzer all in one or some shit, I don't know. Do it on the nose. Pull it in a little bit. But like keep this a little bright still, I guess. And I think it's cute. And then the remaining goes on the chin. Just like literally devouring my my fucking healing nose. Probably not smart, but it looks so washed out on camera. And then this is my favorite thing. Like this is like, oh, is that too much for every day? No, my glasses are on now. It's the perfect amount for every day. Just in Ohio though, this is purely an Ohio thing. <laughs> if you live somewhere a little more liberated, then ignore this part. Mother, I crave violence. I'm a man! War! How do you use? Please explain. Uh, no direction? Fuck. Okay, so I wanna do a round 
So let's take out my handy dandy. This thing that I got because I decided I wanted to have every rainbow on hand at all times just in case, but I didn't want to buy the James Charles palette. Because I hate Morphe eyeshadows and that's the tea. Wait, I should probably use the red I use in my eyeshadow, right? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Just kidding. Pack that shit up. Taking back the snarky comment about Morphe and James Charles. Hello, ISL. Rude. Did I pack the red on this brush? All right. So I tried to make a paste out of it, but I'm not sure how good it's gonna draw on. All right, that's kind of cute. That's really fucking cute, actually. I'm not mad at that. Oh, I don't even have mascara on. Why didn't anyone tell me? <laughs> kind of rude, not gonna lie. Ooh, got some mascara on my eyeball. Let's go. American carcinogens, do your thing. All right, time to move on from this portion of the video. Makeup tutorial's done. We had a fun little moment with our little Ulta spending. Um, time to not spend any money on myself for like another six months. See you then. <laughs> So it's just like a hodgepodge of shit and I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm not too happy with how it turned out, but I'm not mad at it to be honest. I'm actually like not very good at drawing animals. So this is a fun little exercise.